Hey, Jason. I was, I, J, uh, Jay spoke a little bit about his uh, previous relationship with. What does that? Uh, what does that mean to you that he kind of advocated for you to come in here? Uh, I mean, it's anytime you can have somebody in your corner, it's always helpful, and and you know that's all I was kind of looking for. Is like I said before, kind of been harping on it. Just an opportunity is what I was asking for, and you know I'm grateful for it. So it's uh, it always helps when you have. You know he knew me growing up, so and uh, but it's a long time since we've kind of seen each other so but uh it's great to, that we kept that relationship for so long yeah well i mean and he's obviously you know you both go through life in your careers what's what was it like for you to see i guess from afar last year but see him do well with the condors and then get the opportunity here oh, i was amazing you know i i always rooted for him you know he helped me a lot when i was young um he was coming up too he was just getting behind the bench i think my first year um in san jose so to see him get that we uh you know, uh, my family knows his family, so it's it's we're all super happy for him, and uh, you know he's done a great job so far. Okay, and then, and then just the basic question: How do you feel it's going for you so far? Yep. Good. You know, it's it's day by day, and and first game was good, but it's past now, and then now it's uh, tonight's another game, so we gotta keep building towards the season and, and make sure that we're uh, we're all on the ball tonight. Go ahead. Sure. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Sure. Uh, Warren, how would you kind of summarize uh, your first year with Edmonton last year and what you're trying to prove heading into training camp this year? Yeah, I think it'd be fair to say it was a little bit of a roller coaster year. Obviously, a little bit of an adjustment. Um, you know, this summer was probably the healthiest summer I've had in a couple of, couple seasons. So that was nice to put some weight on and, you know, add some more muscle mass and things like that. And, um, you know, I think for me, just trying to be consistent and as well, you know, here in a uh, training camp, you know, try to uh, fight my way to, you know, get on the PK. Um, that's something I, I used to do um, throughout my whole career and uh, something I didn't get to do last year. And, you know, it, just getting those those minutes just to be, you know, in the flow of the game is, is huge. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, you know, push hard in training camp to, to get on that. How much muscle mass were you able to add in off season? Uh, I gained about like <laughs> I gained about like five pounds uh, uh, this last couple uh, uh, summers. Just injuries in the playoffs back in Carolina, a couple surgeries. So it was nice to uh, to be healthy this summer. Simple question for you: What does Warren Fogel do when he's playing his best hockey? I think uh, my best hockey is when I'm uh, tenacious and I take pucks to the net. Um, you know, when my legs are moving it is. Uh, when uh, things are happening, and obviously when they're not, it's not going my way. I gained 18 pounds over the course of the summer. So, <laughs> uh, how much right wing did you play uh, in Carolina? Because I think there's a chance we're going to see you play a little bit more on the right side, maybe even tonight. Yeah, I played about two years. M majority of my time in Carolina, I actually played more right wing than left. Um, so, my uh, definitely comfortable playing there. Um, and excited to uh, showcase uh, my versatility. And Jason, for you, a number of years ago, Joffrey Lupul wrote a piece about briefly be being over, I think it was in the Players' Tribune, about playing over in Russia and how he had a greater appreciation for maybe what Eastern European players experienced when they came to North America. Now, you were there not a long time, just like Joff. How different was it? How challenging was it? And what was the experience like overall for you? Uh, I mean, I, I came back with a lot of positive experiences. You know, the guys were great to us. They, uh, they took us in and, and um, you know, as long as you kind of show a little interest in their culture, they're, they were great to us and, and made sure we, uh, we weren't wanting for nothing. So for me, it was great. The hockey was, uh, the hockey was, was tougher than I, I thought it would be. You know, sometimes you go over there and you think, ah, oh, this will be easy. But, you know, it's a good style of hockey, good brand. Um, and, uh, yeah, like it's, I wish I had some, funny crazy stories from there but everything was good so it, uh, I'll take that. Warren you mentioned being on the penalty kill you were there in Carolina as one of the significant guys on the PK. Uh, Jay had talked about he wanted to give you that opportunity to start. Have you noticed uh, is the PK here any different than what you did in Carolina as far as the system or approach at all? Uh, a little bit I think with every team there's a little bit different adjustments so I'm asking lots of questions because uh, obviously I want to be on it so uh, I've been in their office quite a bit, just trying to get comfortable with their system. You've been paired up with Ryan McLeod a bit on the PK, and, and you, you played with him. I think you're going to play them again tonight. Do you find the guy you play with five on five 
does it create chemistry being on the PK with the same guy? For sure. Um, also, in, in Ryan's case, you know, he's been familiar with Jay's PK for the last couple of years, so asking him questions is, is an easy go for me, uh, especially when we're playing together and also being good buddies as well. So, um, so yeah. Warren, you called last... You called last season a roller coaster. Can you, do you know maybe why that was, or what? Why do you feel it was a roller coaster for you? Um, you know, I thought I had a good start last year, and then you know, as a team, we all kind of went through struggles. Um, I don't know if I have an exact thing. I think for myself, uh, I just got to stay consistent, and whether I play seven minutes or thirteen minutes, it's got to be the same game, and obviously. Uh, you know, that's, I got to do that myself. And um, yeah, it was definitely not an easy year. And obviously coming to a new team with two new coaches, right? I got to, they got to learn about me. And so it's a great opportunity right now in training camp for, uh, you know, Jay to see what else I can provide. Did you find it a little hard maybe to prove yourself in the sense that you kind of seem like right from the get-go, third or maybe even fourth line, and you didn't get those PK touches or, uh, you know, opportunities that you had in Carolina. Did you feel like it was kind of hard to, to break through at times and, and kind of show what you maybe could do? Yeah, I think the hardest thing is just probably finding a role, right, when you're, when, you're, uh, when you're in the bottom six and you're not really on a special team, right? There's a lot of penalties that happen both ways, right? So there's a lot of sitting around. So um, I think I heard Ken mention it, right? You kind of got to be on one of those special teams to, to be involved and, um, that's something I'm trying to earn in training camp. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Yes.